On the 58th day without drinkable tap water, you have to take your wins where you can get them. And Akalui had a small win this week. The Armed Forces water filtration plant is back up and running. Now instead of bottled water, residents can come to one of three locations in the city. This one is the Elder's Comic. And fill a refillable container. That means less money spent by the government of Nunavut to fly in bottled water, and less plastic going into our landfill. Recreation facilities are still closed. The recreation workers are handing out water instead of doing their normal jobs. A Kaluit's mayor is frustrated, just like the rest of us. Um, the fact of the matter is that most of the people that I run into on a very daily basis, whether it's at the store or the bar, you know, at, at, at uh, Yummy Forma or any of those places, have been so positive. Um, everyone knows that the city is working hard. Everyone knows the government's working hard. It's just, you know, everyone's question is why is it taking so long? And we, see, we see everyone working hard. The government of Nunavut has a long list of items they want to see accomplished before they remove the do not consume order. We asked Nunavut's chief public health officer, Dr. Michael Patterson, to explain what's taking so long. His office never returned our message. The mayor says that the list is getting closer to being done. We believe we're close to uh, you know, some sort of uh, negotiation with the government of Nunavut to get that done. Um, but you know, again, uh, we, we are supportive of everything they want us to do. It's just a matter of uh, you know, the water canal right now is clean. It's testing uh, within or better than the Canadian standards. And um, we want to be able to use our water. It's, it's, uh, again, it's, it's super taxing for all of us. The city of Iqaluit takes in almost $1 million a month for water bills. They waive those fees for October and will likely do the same for November. Um, you know, I suspect that council will support that relatively easily. Um, the first month of October was uh, approximately $900,000 and will be approximately the same um, for November. So this is how we get our water in a Iqaluit now. Refillable containers, purified river water provided by the armed forces. Now, there was some concern early on in the crisis that this water wouldn't be as high quality as the bottled water or the river water we were receiving. Well, what I can tell you, you can smell a little chlorine coming off of it, no more than you would smell in any sort of big city water plant. That isn't the biggest hassle here. The biggest hassle with this water, moving it around, it gets heavy. The other big hassle, we don't know just how long we'll be doing this for. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News, Akalawit.